everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna do an episode 2 of our Nipple Cover 101 series. On today's topic, we're gonna talk about how you're gonna choose the shade of your nipple cover. As you all know, nipple covers has now a lot of wide range of colors to choose from. My name is Gil and welcome to my channel. First of all, I want to start by discussing the parts of our boobs. So I'm going to insert a picture here. And as you can see, most of the time, the most important thing that you should consider when buying a nipple cover is the part where your areola is because we want to cover that as much as possible. And the next thing that I want to talk about is that there are a lot of types of boobs and depending on that, you want to buy the perfect nipple cover for it. In my opinion, all of these are almost the same and any nipple cover should work for you except for the side set and east west. I do recommend to buy a different nipple cover which looks like this. I don't know how do you call this but I think this is better for you to make your boobs like really look lifted and together. So let's move on to the next one. Now, starting with adhesive or non-adhesive, which one should you choose from? If you have a very, very sensitive skin, you should opt for the non-adhesive. So, what is the non-adhesive? Usually, the non-adhesive is the one that doesn't have a lot of stickiness to it, which makes it sensitive, skin-friendly, but it requires a lot of care because if you don't take care of it, it's just gonna be like a disposable, maybe just 1 to 10 use rather than the adhesive type which it can last up to 3 to 4 months. So that is the difference with the non-adhesive and adhesive. And one thing that I get a lot of questions is, would you choose the one that's only transparent, classic, or has a lot of opaqueness? And now I want to show you what the difference is. So first, we're going to start with the transparent. So the transparent is what it exactly means. You can see through it and it's usually really thin so this is the one that i have that i can really say that it's transparent and this one is from bench nipple tapes and if you have a medium colored areola this is not gonna be the one for you because you really can see through it the best way that i can explain this is you can literally see my thumb at the back of this and in person, this is just way too transparent and it's only perfect for light areolas. And before we proceed on the other shade, I just want to show you that this is the best picture that I can find on the different colors of the areola. We have the light, medium, and dark. And the transparent, again, is just for the light one. As for the next one, I want to discuss the semi-opaque. Usually, semi-opaques are light on the outside and has a lot of thickness on the middle which will cover the areola. So this is what it looks like. This one is from Wear Tapis but, but a lot of brands usually offer semi-opaque because it's like the universal quality that everyone wants as again, the outside is thin but the inside is thick. So it's really lightweight and as you can see, you can't barely see the thumb inside. Now, we're gonna move to the really dark one. So, this one is what it looks like. And again, usually the really dark ones are really opaque or semi-opaque. And this one is already semi-opaque. But as you can see, it's really, really dark. I only suggest this dark colored ones is if you really have super duper dark, almost color black areola. Because you can slightly see this dark color with the white shirt so if you have a medium color to dark areola i suggest to go with the medium tone as this will cover your areola just enough now for the last one there is the super opaque ones and this is what it looks like usually these are the ones that are really really white and it is almost comparable to the semi-opaque ones. As you can see, I'm only holding a piece of 
the really opaque ones and this one is a semi opaque and it's almost the same already if i'm gonna compare this to this is the semi opaque and this is the really opaque one so for the ones who have a medium to dark areola you can also opt for the really opaque ones as this will hide everything now we're gonna move to shapes usually the brand offers around four different sizes of nipple covers three seven eight 10 and 12 and depending on the size of your boobs this is how you're gonna decide on i figured as a to c can fit size 7 to 10 and if your boobs are d above you can opt for the 12 and as for the lifting part of the boobs there are nipple covers that offer the lifting part but the one thing that i don't like about that is that you can slightly see the lifting part as you have to put it on the side or front. Usually when we wear nipple covers, our top is really like a sexy top or a spaghetti top. So I found the perfect nipple cover and I yet have to try this once this restock. But I'm gonna insert a picture of this here. Upon trying their nipple cover, I really like the quality. So for sure, this will also be perfect. There are a lot of other brands that offer this. But if you're looking for a silicone type, I think this is the best one that I saw. As for the shapes of the nipple cover, usually we would only see a lot of circles too. But upon research, I saw something that looks like this, which is called like an eggshell. I feel like this would be perfect for the side set and east-west too, if you're just looking for something that isn't push up, but just a nipple cover. I believe that is everything that I want to share with this video. And I hope you learned a thing or two. And leave in the comments down below if you have other questions or suggestions. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye!